right, welcome to another game of Catan. Uh, we are in first position. Um, and the first places I'm looking at are this 9, 10, 5, going up to the brick port. Um, this is almost clearly the best spot. I mean, you can consider the 5, 9, 10 out of production. Um, definitely not as good. It's a very low ore board. I'm sure someone's going to take the 4, 9, 2. Um, but in terms of flexibility, I think this is going to be our best bet with the outs being the 11-5. The, yeah, 11 11-5 is probably what we're going to get on the way back. So let's take this, go off to the left. We also have our wheat port in case we're able to get to that, but I'm sure whoever takes the 3 10 8 spot is going to snag that from us. I would also consider taking the 9-10, although we are relying on only three numbers in that case. Um, also, I wanted to thank you guys for the support. Um, we have hit double digits on our subscribers, 11 subscribers. Um, a lot of people have been commenting on the videos letting me know what they would do in uh, our situations, different situations. And I appreciate that. I read all the comments and um, it's fun seeing um, how you guys think of um, how you guys interpret the game and the things that you would do differently. And it helps me um, get better at my game as well. So I appreciate that. But in second position, I think Blue Piece, um, he's got that custom color. So we know he's a good player. I could see him taking the 8, 10, 3. I could see him taking the 9, 4, 2 if he really values or since on the way back, he's probably not going to get any He's not going to get on a heavy ore spot if he doesn't take this spot. I could see him take the 10, 9, 5 here um, on a lot of sheep, um, which could be a problem. But interestingly enough, I don't think the 5, 9, 10, and the 8, 10 is a horrible setup. Yeah, and that was the last spot, the 2, sorry, the 4, 3, 6, probably going off to the 3 to 1. Getting a little bit extra ore there, doubling up on the brick. I like that as a second settlement. Because he knows he's going to get on a good amount of wood on the way back. He might even consider taking this 510 going off to the right if he's able to. But he does go for the, the 3 8. That's interesting. That makes sense. I'm assuming someone could take this 10 8, but he's probably assuming they're going to take the bottom 10 8 and not the top. But I understand he wants to get a little bit more ore with this setup. Because only being on a three is definitely not the best. Um, but I always think that if you're able to double up on an ore spot with only two pips, um, you only need it to hit a couple times. And no one really blocks um, numbers like the threes, the elevens. Um, so. You know, this is a number that's not going to get blocked as often, so as long as it hits a couple times, that's all he really needs. Blue taking the 8, 10, 3. It's going to snag the wheat port from us, to be expected, unless we're able to snag the 8, 10 on the way back. Now black. Now black could go for the 2, 9, 4, 4, 11, 6. And just purely focus on ore wheat sheep here. I have a ton of ore and that nine is gonna get blocked often. So I don't know if I really like that setup. I think you go for the five, nine, 10 here. And then the nine, four, 11, and then go off to the right and then hopefully connect. So if he does do that, which I think is the optimal placement, then I think blue, would consider taking, so he doesn't, he goes for the 1165, interesting, and the 249. So he is going full ore wheat sheep. He's going to be on the most amount of wheat, the most amount of ore, and a good amount of sheep. So I don't hate it, and he's got the 3 to 1 port. It's actually pretty decent. Plus, it cuts me out of sheep a little bit. 
Now I think as blue, you take this five, nine, 10 every day, um, just because it's such high production. Something else you can consider maybe is the three, four, six, just to get on a little bit extra wheat because he's probably gonna snag that wheat port. And that'll help him get longest road. Which would put us in a little bit of a tough spot. I could also see him taking the three, nine, eleven here just to get on some extra ore. I wouldn't mind that just because, okay, so he takes the interesting. I would not, I don't know if I would take the four, six, eleven here. So this means that blue piece is definitely taking the five, nine, ten. Um, so that gives us the three, nine, eleven, which I really don't like that much. We could also consider taking the ten, eight, and going off to the left. I'm actually considering that a little bit more because we might be able to take that wheat port away from blue. And that pretty much ruins Blue's game. It also will hurt Blue Peas quite a bit. I don't know why Blue Peas is even thinking. Um, in my mind, the 5, 9, 10 is um, definitely the best setup here. And if he doesn't take it, I surely will be taking it. But he takes the three, nine, eleven. Very interesting. Very interesting. Um, I did not expect that at all. So we have a couple options here. I mean, probably the five, ten, nine. But I'm just thinking. It would be nice to, to snag this wheat port from blue just because it helps blue out so much. I don't want to sacrifice my game for it. I will say this 5, 9, 10 does hurt black quite a bit. I like the idea of black and blue piece racing for this 11, 4 spot. But I do really like this setup. And then getting on the 12, 9 on the way back. Plus, we do have more brick. So, yeah, we're going to do this. Yeah, Booth is right. I am all in on the 5, 9s, and 10s with this setup. My question is up or down? I would like to go up, but. But I think they would beat me. I think Blue Piece would beat me there. So we're going to play it safe. Um, he should probably roll from black to beat him to the 411. But let's see, what does he start with? He starts with wood, so he should probably steal from me. Because then he can guarantee himself a brick. But he does get the sheep. I would do the same. I would rob blue piece here so I can snag the wood. Piece trades me. And we are going to go up to. Hmm. It would be nice to snag this wheat port from blue. 
but I don't like the idea of trying to raise blue to it. So our whole game really hinges on these five, nines, and tens. I don't think I've ever only been on three numbers um, ever playing Catan, so it's definitely a risky move. I don't actually recommend it, um, but um, it is, unfortunately, they're all high production numbers. So thank God we did not go off to the left. Start on the knights as well. Blue pushing off him, of course. <laughs> it's really funny uh, playing Catan online because everybody's just I'm not I'm not in a bad spot. I'm in the worst spot. You're doing much better than me. No one likes to to admit that they're doing that they're doing well. Do we want to, I do want to get a city, so I don't know if I want to, um, I don't even think I want to play my knight here. The sheep is not a bad block, so I am just going to pass, which I know sounds a little strange, um, but the sheep isn't that important to us. We can't guarantee ourselves a brick or a wood from a steel, and I don't want, um, people to see that I have a knight. So it throws them off. It's does trade black here. I think that makes the most sense. He doesn't want to give me an ore in this position, which is very reasonable. And he gets the city out of it. We definitely do not like to see that. So we know that blue piece has two ore, so we are going to steal from him on the wheat. He now has a brick that also helps us. Yeah, so we need a city to match the production here for sure. So we have a 66% chance of getting it from blue peas here. We get it, but we seven out. Thankfully, we still have enough for it. A bonus or the 
this will be an interesting game. I think um, we all have a pretty good shot of winning this. Black is on obviously the most amount of Orbi cheap, which is why I'm focusing on him right now. Because he's gonna be competing with me for army. So when you're considering who you wanna block, you wanna either block the person in first or you wanna block the person who's competing with you. Or obviously if you're racing somebody, we're blocking that person. Unfortunate steal, he gets my ore. No one takes this trade, but we'll throw it out anyway. We'll trade him two, just so we can keep up the pacing. Get the mono. I'm happy with the mono. A lot of ore out there on the board now. A lot of wheat. I did just give Blue Piece another city. We will actually take this. Because it gives us a road to the three to one. Now who does, who does he take from me? Um, it makes sense, he does take from me. I think that's fair. I'm on a pretty high amount of production. So I do think that's a reasonable block. A lot of weed on the board, but we can't do anything with it, so we're gonna have to pass. Steals from me, makes sense. We'll see if black uses the knight here. It's really a race to army because we're all in a good amount of wheat and ore. And so everyone's going for the three cities, army, two devs. Just not enough here to do anything. I was thinking about getting the wheat, but there's not enough taken, which you can see from these question marks off to the right. 
and usually I'll only mono unless I really need it or if there's at least two question marks. One is even better. Or if I'm on this port too, if there's a lot of breakout, it might be worth monoing for that as well. That's unfortunate. We definitely needed a knight in that position. This will help us get another settlement on the 3 to 1, but right now the key is to get army. So definitely no one should be trading blue peas here. Blue needs ore, so I guess he's a little bit more incentivized to trade. But in this position, um, we should definitely be worried about him. I might even use this year of plenty to get resources for army.
so I am going to use my year of plenty to get wheat and Okay, I think we are going to, oh, we can't mono, never mind. I think it would have been good to mono wheat here. So I need to do whatever I can to snag some of Blue Piece's cards, hopefully with this mono. It may have been better to use the mono last turn on the wheat, just to ensure that I would get army. And then I could have gotten enough wheat to trade in for, oh, he does have the mono. He does it on wheat, like I was going to, um, which is another reason why it would have been better to do this. The question is, does he have enough wheat to make something happen with this? He might actually be able to take it here. So we just need the settlement and one more road. trades him, thankfully. Yeah, puts it 
on the eight. Smart. I don't even think it's worth monoing here, to be completely honest. Let's see, what is... What does blue piece need? He needed ore, which means he has wood. Now at least we can model the ore here. He's feeling awfully cocky. So we are going to model the brick. Blue has any wood.
see if we can make something happen here. Yeah, probably it is probably a blue pieces game, but I just want to give it a shot. Very happy about that. Blue piece is awfully confident. Um, and he should be. I mean, at this point, he's definitely most likely going to win here, but game's not over yet. So what does he block? Um, maybe the... Maybe the 10, probably the 10, yeah, makes sense. And he takes from blue, interesting. So blue piece in a tough spot. He just needs a couple more roads, which he's on a lot of road building supplies here, so he should be able to get. But if me and blue were together, we might be able to make something happen. Yeah, so he's at nine. It would take a miracle at this point. Four for ones. I'm not sure if this is really gonna do much. If he gets road, take his blue pieces one away. I think if there's any way we can still win. If we hit a lucky nine and a lucky five. Oh, we did just hit a five. So if we get army next time, we could actually win this, which would be huge. I don't know what black does. Wood, does he is he able to connect? No, he's not. Oh, one VP.
Let's see if anyone makes this trade. Very doubtful. Nope. Depending on what happens, we can maybe take it. 10 hits, that's good. Can't unfortunately help him take it. This would be the most satisfying win if we do get it, but he unfortunately takes road from me. We still, if we get some lucky rolls. See, can we take road here? I don't think we can. Wait, hold up. We might be able to make something happen here. Okay. Hmm, let's think about this. Okay, we can get two brick for a settlement. Oh my gosh, we might actually have this. Oh no. No, our connection can't do this to us. Wow, this is the most satisfying win. <laughs> wow. Wow, that is um, unfortunate because I miscalculated. <laughs> and I only had nine. not. So at least this stalls the game a little bit longer. But yeah, I definitely uh, miscalculated there. I definitely thought I had to win. But we still need three more roads. And we need a settlement or we need a city.
So it's still most likely GG for blue piece. expecting him to take this, but we'll try anyway. So good block on the eight. So most we can do now is pull for the win. Unless we get a couple lucky fives and nines. Unless blue can do something here. Settlement. He has the wheat port. Okay, so he's definitely going to city up. No, he's at nine too. Gave my word. Oh, and he spite steals from me still. see. We get our wheat back, doesn't really matter much. So I think blue might take it now. I think pretty much everyone's at nine here. Well, great game for Blue. I'm just glad Blue Piece didn't win. Um, seems like a real jerk. Um, but regardless, great game. I wish I had enough for uh, army. I po tried pulling for it, but didn't get it, uh, which is unfortunate. Um, but hey, we tried our best. We what, what could we have done differently? So there wasn't a ton of sevens. That was a really close game, though. Road buildings. Well, 
Good game nonetheless. That's it for this one. Peace.